Hi everybody, it's AJ here, and today I want to make a video on the difference between pass by reference and pass by value. So, here's an example. Let's make sure we have our grounds here. So I'm going to say I have an integer, and we're going to call it A, and I'm going to assign that value to 10. And anything I do to this value, anything I do to A will reflect a change in that value. If I do a times equals 2, that will take the value in a, times it by 2, and, ass and assign it back equal to a. So if I see out a, I'll do an endl to make it easier to see, then I should print out 20. And there you go, I have 20 right there. And also, and also what I can do is I can also assign other I can assign another variables to have the value of a but they are completely different so if I assign a value of B equal to a as well B now has the value of a but what's important to understand is that they're not the same value let me show you what I mean so you don't want to think that the variables are somehow connected in some way that a that b is equal to a which is equal to 20 so changing 20 will change both of those values so for instance if i do b plus plus and then i do a printout where i print out a where i print out b and i make this a proper c out and then i print these I print oops i need to change this to b and then I print these out. What I'm going to get is I'm going to get 10 and 11. So A is still 10 and B is 11. And that's because I created a separate variable, a separate variable, or you could kind of think of a think of it as a memory slot for B, and then incremented that, and I could print that out. So B is its own variable and A is its own variable. They're not pointing to the same value or memory slot if you want to think about it because everything in the computer is stored somewhere in memory right it's just an important thing to understand fundamentally but now i want to but this is just a prelude to what we're going to get to the main meat of so let's say i have now i'm gonna we're gonna go a little bit into functions to get to pass by reference and pass by value so let's say i have this function here card int square and i have it i have a method header at the top which i'm going to define down below for good coding practices so what am I going to do in my int square method? I'm going to square a number. So it takes a parameter of the num I'm going to square, and I'm going to say num equals num times num, and then I'm going to return num. And the reason because I'm going to return num is because I say here in the beginning with this int that I'm going to have to return an int. Whatever variable I have before the name of the method, I must put a return, I must somehow return it. I must return some kind of integer. That is the pact I'm, I'm making with this function, that somehow a in different integers could be uh, returned in different scenarios. For instance, in a square function, you know, whatever you pass in is going to get returned. But that is the contract you're making with the method. So I'm, signing, I'm setting num e to equal to num times num, or whatever is passed in, and then I'm going to return it. So just to show you guys another example, if I have int c equals 9, and then I see out. Oh, well, first thing I do is I do my square. I do my square function, which is right here. And I'm going to square c. And now I'm going to see out c. And as you can see here, after running it, this is what I get. I get nine. So I c ran, so I made a variable called c assigned to nine, and then I ran square on c, and that should have returned, that should have returned eighty one, but instead I after running the square function it did not change. That is pretty interesting. I wonder why I, I wonder you know that I wonder why that happened. Well, what happened is, this is why, where the difference becomes in pass by value and pass by reference, and just to show you guys. I'll explain this just by adding an ampersand here and running the program. <laughs> I forgot to change, I forgot to, I also need to add an ampersand to my method header here. They, the method header must exactly match 
the method header at the bottom that it links to so the ampersands must match and now I'm going to run the program and after running it you can now see that C is now 81 I did change the value by just adding that ampersand now let me explain exactly what is going on so I'll go back to not having the ampersands so what happened is when I don't have the ampersand that is called pass by value and what pass by value does for example is let's say that I have a value and when I send it in to this function here when I send it into the square root function what happens is whatever C is if C is 9 81 negative 2 negative a billion it makes a copy of that value and assigns it or you can think of it as uses an alias if you know what that is and makes it num so it makes a copy a data copy of num and passes in the square so the C that I passed in and the num variable that can, they both contain 9 because I'm making a copy but whatever I do to the num inside this function is a totally different variable so it could be it could be something completely different now if I wanted to not use the ampersand or not use pass by reference as I'll get to describing if I wanted to um, change C all I'd have to do is add a C equals to square because whatever happens to num will be completely different than the value I pass into it but then I'm gonna return num so I'm gonna return that value from the function so I'm gonna return 81 or 4 or whatever the square value is and then whatever I return I can assign to a value which I can reassign the C and you can see if I run this again hopefully everything works I still get 81 which is pretty darn nice so that that is something cool so it's it's good to consider um, when you're doing pass by value and pass by reference and when you can just use return something so return is nice but the th bad thing about returning is you can only return one value you can only return one thing so what happens if you need the return thing so there can be situations where you need to return multiple things like in this project so what we'll do right now is I'll show you guys how to change multiple variables outside your function by when you call a function so let's say again I'm going to add a ampersand here to I need to sign it to both places remember and let's say I'm going to get rid of the return or I'm gonna always return zero for some reason so I don't have to get rid of that and then I'm gonna set I'm gonna set num equal to num times num again well here's what the ampersand does the ampersand about allows you to pass by reference instead of pass by value now pass by reference instead of creating a copy of the value it will reference the variable you passed in so num you can kind of think of that num will point to the variable c so since num points to c anything i do to num will affect c which is pretty cool so i can i can change num I can change whatever's passed into whatever's passed into this amp this reference which is what the ampersand stands for a reference value I can change in my function without have to worry about returning it so for instance if I run this function and I don't even set C equal to this function so there's no way C could change except if I use a pass by reference and I run this function I again get 81 here and just to show you that I'm not BSing I'm going to change this and to 11 and I get 121 which is pretty cool so as you can see here I don't I have a return 0 so if I set C equal to the return then the value would be 0 mm -hmm. and the reason because it's 0 is because I'm changing the value to um, whatever the square is but then I'm returning 0 and assigning it and assigning it to C so this happens before this happens so this will overwrite whatever happens in the bottom what happens last overwrites what happens before it so that allows me to do that so in conclusion pass by value makes a copy without the ampersand just the regular functions which you learned in the beginning makes a copy of the variable which then you can change but then you have to worry about returning it returning it so then that can affect an outside variable pass by reference allows you to affect multiple variables in one method just like we did in our project with the minimum and the maximum well if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me but i hope you guys have a great day